in this short video we will discuss on how to do route leaking between vpns in the webtela sd wan fabric webtela provides the ability to segment the network using vpns with the use of different vpns the traffic is completely isolated between each other in the overlay network however sometimes we will need to route traffic between the vpns for example if shared services are provisioned as a separate vpn in these cases we will leverage webtela's extensible policy framework to define the policies and route traffic between the vpns attached is the topology we will be using for this demo vh1 has a service lan in vpn 11 while vh2 has a service lan in vpn 12 as i said by default within the sdwan fabric routes are not leaked between the vpns let's check the routes let's go to network network let's go to branch 1 and let's go to real time and look for routes As you can see, there is only route for VPN 11 and there are no routes for VPN 12 on this, this device. Similarly, let's go and check BR2. And here you find that there is only route for VPN 12 and no routes for VPN 11. Now I have an end host connected to the service side VPN of branch 1. So let's try to ping an address in VPN 12. So let me ping 192.168.12.51, which is the service side VPN on branch 2 at on VPN 12. And as you can see, that the communication does not work. So now we'll create a policy to route traffic between these two VPNs. So let's go to policies. Let's add our policy. We don't need to add an application list, so click next. Let's add a custom policy let's call this route leak let's add a sequence and here on the match conditions let's match vpn 11 and on the actions click accept and then click export to vpn 12. Now this exports routes from vpn 11 to vpn 12. We would similarly need another rule to route traffic to leak traffic between vpn 12 and vpn 11. So here let's go ahead and choose vpn 12. Let's go ahead to actions, accept and then export to VPN 11. Let's save it. Let's go to our default action and make it accept. Let's save it. Let's save a control policy. So that's our policy. Select so kicks next. We don't need to do any application of our routing in this case. So let's hit next and let's assemble the policy here. So let's call it route leak policy. And in this outlay policy, let's add our sites, which are site one and two, and as an inbound site list. So add and then preview the policy. And we have a policy named Outlake, it is matching on VPN 11 and exporting the v exporting it to VPN 12. Similarly, we have another sequence which is matching on VPN 12 and exporting it to VPN 11 and then it is getting assigned as an inbound policy, inbound control policy on VH1 and VH2. Let's hit save and that's our policy. Let's go ahead and activate this policy. Let's wait till the policy gets pushed policy has been pushed so then now let's go to networks let's go to branch one again go to real time and check for the routes so let's ip routes and now you can see that you have the routes from vpn 12 imported via omp on this device similarly let's go to vh2 
and here you can see that the VPN 11 routes are imported through OMP onto VPN 12. Let's go back to our host and let's try to see if we can ping the host on the other segment and there you go we have successful communication between two VPNs by defining a policy that leaks routes between them. Let's try a ping from the host which is connected to VPN 12 and try to ping a host on the VPN 11 side and there you have successful communication as well. Thus, Viptela offers a very simple way of routing traffic between the VPNs. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.